of the Baltimore, Mr. Wallace. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Tell us what you think about and what are your thoughts of receiving this Trailblazer Award for your accomplishments not only in America, but the black community and the Republican Party. Well, you know, for many years I have been laboring in, in business and technology and within the Republican Party. And I do it because I think it's the right thing to do. And I think it makes a difference in people's lives. So the recognition is like icing on the cake. You know, I mean, I would do it anyway, even if I didn't get recognition. So I think that's what's needed in the community. And I'm glad that I've been blessed to be able to, to do that. Uh, tell folks why you think entrepreneurship is so important to deal with some of the pathology in the black community specifically and how you think entrepreneurship could be a, a solution to some of these issues. Well, I think that what you find in, in many parts of our community is a sense of hopelessness, right? And some might even add economic hopelessness. And so when until we can fix the, the, the economic issue, the economic hopelessness, we're going to have the functional, the functional or dysfunction, really, of the, of the community. And so I think that we, as business leaders, we have a responsibility to create job opportunities, to create wealth in our communities, because if we do that, then we can employ people and we can make a difference in, the, in that community. You also find that, that typically businesses that are owned by people of color and women tend to employ people of color and women. And so I would tell President Trump or anyone else who, is, who has a concern about the, the quality of life in the inner cities, all you have to do is fix the economics, and that will drive everything else. You heard it from my 2017 honoree, Robert Bob Wallace. And if you want to hear more of this interview, you can go to our website at BAFBF.org. Thank you.